Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Home and Style with Joy. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you stick around. I am Joy, and today I have a special treat for you because I am going to show you how you can bust down those builder grade mirrors and upgrade them to a luxurious mirror that you would love to walk in and look at yourself every single day. So if this is something that you'd be interested in, please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those post notifications. Let's get started. Okay, so I know I don't do a lot of DIYs, but that's because I don't have a lot of time and I'm an add to cart kind of girl. But I'm also a realtor. So if I can provide you with a DIY that is gonna add value to your home, I am all for it. So the first thing I did was grab a cop gun and some Gorilla Glue. And no, we are not talking about the Gorilla Glue girl. We are not gonna put this in our hairs. We are gonna put this on the mirror. The second thing we're going to do is grab these squares and I will link them below. We're going to put them all along the edge of the mirror to give it that glam and chic look. And this is how they come. And like I said, I will link it below. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a quick before look at this mirror. This is a builder grade mirror and you see they just slap it on there. It doesn't have any edging or anything like that. Um, of course, you could take this mirror down. I've done that before. It made a big mess in the walls. I had holes. I had to spackle to put the new mirror up. But this is going to be a cost effective way that you can upgrade your mirror, especially if you're selling your home. You don't want to dump a lot of money into unnecessary things, but you want to get the most value. So if you are selling, I encourage you to maybe try this. Okay, so I've got the backing off of this and I just want to show you, you may want to buy extras because some of them do have chips in them that won't be, um, you won't be able to use. So buy an extra box if you can for those that may, those um, squares that may be chipped. Okay, so my cock gun is locked and loaded and I'm just gonna make an S pattern on here. Don't go too far on the edges because when you press it up against the mirror, it may squish and you'll end up seeing it. So I'm just going to do the first four. And I'm going to, oops, and then I'm going to take and place on the mirror. And I want to do this fast in case I have to move some of them over.
I am biting against gravity with this top row. I may have to adjust it a bit with my hands because they do tend to slide some. So while I'm letting this dry, I'm going to hang some curtains and I'm going to use the extra mirrors that I have to do the medicine cabinets. So stay tuned. Okay, so next I'm going to hang these really luxe velvet curtains that I got. On a gold curtain rod, it's just going to add that glam luxe element to the design. gorgeous silver and gold mosaic face right here on my countertop where I can see it every morning every day when I come in I know it's an unusual place but I really want to glam this area up and I'm going to top it off with these um blush orchids I love decorative towels. 
I love to do fancy things with decorative towels. And this one is Vera Wang. And I picked this up from Home Goods. run out of time yesterday so I am back to put the finishing touches on this bathroom I'm gonna start by giving my husband's side an update I'll show you what I did off camera and then I'll give you a tour around the room like a light lighting up in the dark you make it right, I forgot how to act, it's so classic. Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words, it's been a while since I forgot the most simple words.
Okay, guys, that is it. That is all I have time for today. I do have client demands that need to be met, but I wanted to leave you something of value. I will be coming up on my one year anniversary here on YouTube soon. So I will be posting a celebratory video about that coming up soon. I joined at the end of April and I posted my video, uh, my first video in the second week of May. So I'll be doing the same. Um, if you have anything that you want to see, if you want me to show you something or you have something you want me to talk about, just leave me a comment below and I'll do my best to accommodate you. Thank you for watching. If you are new here, please remember to subscribe to my channel and of course like this video and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.